Today I'm going to be buying a random loop kit, sample kit from a producer off Beastars. I'm just going to go on there, search through, find one that kind of looks cool as far as like artwork or something probably, and then just purchase it and make a beat with it. So let's go. This series is gonna be real cool. I'm really excited for it. There's a couple things this is gonna do. It's gonna put some money in producers' pockets. It's also gonna give me some stuff to collab on and make beats with and showcase some of the amazing loops and samples that you guys make. So let's go into it. I've never bought a loop kit or sample kit straight off BeatStar. So I'm gonna go over here to what you're searching for. Um, tracks, I'm gonna change this to sound kits. I guess I'll just put loop. I think I can do it later. We'll put loop. Yeah, I could put a category. We got loop kit right here. We'll select that. And this should just be pretty random, I think. Let me take off the first one I had. So yeah, it's just loop kit. There is a lot of kits in here. Like it just keeps going. There's a bunch of these. So let's go back up to the top and let's see. R&B soul loops. That one might be cool. I kind of want to make um, some more like fast type of guitar, piano type stuff. There's like a Rod Wave one right here see what this one is hopeless loop kit 16 high quality pain loops definitely like making pain beats uh, there's a free version right here but i want to make sure to buy the full version this one has eight loops this is 16 so half the kit uh, you could get for free let's go ahead and hit this little preview i think it'll show us some of hopefully more than one of them <laughs> I think I'm gonna just grab this one, make it easy. First video, just not go through too many. Uh, but yeah, I hope I'm not seeing, let me see, reading. I'm trying to read this and see if there's anything in here that says that there's stems. It doesn't, so I don't know, we'll figure it out. Let's just see, let's go ahead and hit buy now. And check out and pay now. All right, cool, we got it, download the kit. All right, so we got 16 loops in here to choose from. I'm gonna listen to some of them and figure out one that I wanna make a B with. This one has a cool vibe to it. I already hear something on that. Yeah, 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 let's use that one. So let's drag that one in. Let's throw it right here. We need to bring this up to 200. Let's go ahead and put this on stretch. So this is at what, about 201. So we go over here and I'm going to bring this down somewhere over here so that I could create the beat around like 100 and kind of mess with it a little bit lower. And now let's bring this down to 100. I think like 110 would probably sound good. Let's make sure it still sounds good though and it's still locked in. Cool. And now that we have it turned on stretch, we could actually take this up to like 110 and it'll still sound the same. Just be a little bit faster. So I'm just gonna cut this up real quick and then we'll get straight into it. All right, so now we got it all cut and we have all like the stem. So we have the whole sample right here. I'm gonna go into here and put this on generic and that's gonna affect all of them until we make them unique so I can like name them and stuff. But we're in F sharp minor is what it says. So I'm actually gonna bring this down by maybe two and we're gonna go to D sharp minor and then we'll just make them unique so we can change the volumes and kind of have it as if uh, they were all separated. So we're just gonna make this unique and then right here, we'll just call this like melody and then I'll do that for all of them. So yeah, like I said, now we have this arranged out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make the beat around like a 16 bar loop. And then later on, we'll use these, just kind of separate it and make the whole beat. So I'm gonna go over here to pattern one and bring in some drums. There's a really cool snare inside a resupply that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna go over here, it's the snare 27 right here. And then we'll get hi-hat 11 and some open hats, I think seven will probably sound good and then like eight or nine probably like a faster one like that i'm gonna get a few more drums make sure to put a soft clipper on the master real quick and then we'll get into making the rest of the beat let's put a two-step on the hi-hat and then get the snare going we'll put the snare probably on the three and then we need to go over here and loop this this is going to be smooth so we'll get started on the hi-hat so that's what we're definitely going to need to do i'm going to go over here probably put it on either sixth or third Let's try six and get this tool right here. Control A, Shift D, and then we can just select one of these and now we can place these. 
probably something like this. Maybe a little bit more spacing too in between each. And another one right here. I couldn't zoom in. All right, there we go. Uh, no, we'll just go like four. Probably another one here. Just kind of get a feel for where we want them to be. And then we can loop this over, switch this one to give it a little bit of range, different range to it. Maybe some panning on like the last couple ones. Yeah, there we go. And then maybe one last little quick fill like that. I don't know. Going up. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Then we could loop it. There we go. Let's bring in the reverse one of them, maybe. Let's see what the other, I think the pad is reverse too. Yeah, that adds a little bit to it. Let's get the kick going and then we'll get that bass going. Play it out on the MIDI. It didn't loop, hold on. We need to get it to loop. Dang, that was a, uh, you know when you're in like, you're vibing with the beat and then something like that happens. I was, <laughs> I was ready, let's see. Just like to get like a mood for it, see what I want to do. We can do like a double like. I think I want to do like the boom boom and then like a double, probably going to mess it up and we'll fix it after. that it's gonna sound really good with the 808 quantize it there we go and we need the open hats just throw one right here on c a little too loud though bring it down There we go. simple little bass line i think that was already in the loop but i wanted to change the bass out so we'll do alt l and we might do a bend or just leave it like this i think probably like this just sounds good because then it keeps it kind of simple let's put a snare right there it's on this uh the kick too so it actually sounds good just like adds a little bit to it What if we brought the reverse up by an octave? Let's hear it. Because we went down by two, so we just went up by 10, which is 12 semitones total. Um, so that's an octave, if that didn't make sense. 
yeah i like it up an octave that sounds cool and then i'll arrange it real quick and we'll hear the full thing so we have a 16 bar hook and then a 32 bar verse if you go from here all the way up to where the hook starts again so that's pretty much the whole arrangement of it i think it sounds really good it sounds very open a lot of these beats leave it open for the artist to really just do their thing on it and that's kind of what you want and it has enough melody then the verses kind of drop out it's almost a little empty once the artist records to it, it just makes that verse sound really good and it just differentiates it from the hook to the verse it's actually really fun just to go buy like a random loop kit and cook up with it and then i have like what what did that come with 16 so i got 15 more loops uh, but yeah let me know if you want to see more of this if you do like this content share it drop a comment down below and then we'll just keep going because it's definitely going to be something fun so again let's hear the whole beat appreciate you watching